Okay, so there I am. This song on the radio. And going to see Steven and just combination. It's that it's that concoction that the universe made. I miss my mom. I just took Serena to work. <laughs> and I'm just, I just texted him that I would be early because he said like eight. And I said, okay, but then Serena needed a ride to work. And then I told him, you know, I'm going to be early because, and he said, no, that's too, that's, he texted me. No, that's his kids aren't leaving until eight or whatever. Oh, and I don't know. Just that guy hit in my car. That guy hit in my car last night. On his dirt bike. And me feeling so like alone and powerless. was $21,000. My, my dad bought it for me two years ago. It's everything to me. And my job is everything to me. It's like the first thing that ever worked for me is Lyft. And then this car is like the most precious thing, the most expensive thing that, I ever, that my dad ever did for me, and then, and that stupid kid smashed it up, and I, I just feel like it was my fault somehow, like if I would have, if I would have been more patient, if I would have looked I mean, I know that it wasn't my fault. And I know that that would have been abnormal for me to look because that's the way I would have, that's not the way traffic was going. So that guy was very, he had no, he disregarded the traffic walls. And then, I've just been crampy. And then Steven and I talking about a baby. I want to have his baby so fucking bad. Do you understand? <laughs> like, I would fucking love to have a, another baby, and especially a mixed. I would fucking love that shit so much. <laughs> like, I want it so bad even though it doesn't make any sense and everybody will probably hate me over it. But I don't want anybody to hate me over it. And I don't deserve anybody to hate me for being me and being happy. So. Oh. I miss my mom. I need her. I need a mom. <laughs> And I need a dad that's going to take care of me, that's going to believe in me, that's going to support me, that's going to help me with my car. I should have full coverage. I mean, I don't care. See, I don't have full coverage. So if I had full coverage, that guy hitting me, I would have just turned it into my insurance company. But I don't have, I can't do that. So I don't know what to do. I, I, I want to have somebody from Baltimore that does state inspections that will make sure that I pass state inspection and will be reasonably priced. 
Like that's what I want to happen because every May I, my car has to pass state inspection in order to continue with Lyft. So I don't want the guy. I don't want. I don't want any negative thing from that guy hitting my car. I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be alone. So I just tried to call my friend Pretty and tell her that I need her mechanic to help me. But I just want to surrender this to you, God. You're my parents. I said, I told you, you're my parents. I'm pretty sure I'm going over to West Baltimore instead of staying in East Baltimore. It's a fucked up mess. I hate this part of Baltimore. It's like 895 and it's all fucked up harbor tunnel bullshit. I don't know. So yeah, I'm going to Lombard Street and that's not where I'm supposed to be. <gasps> but Stephen just texted me and said, take your time. Something. I don't even really understand what the fuck he said. I can see I'm changing. I can see I'm getting <laughs> Sarita. I love her. She said <laughs> She said I reminded her of Peg Ben Bundy Bundy from um Mary with Children. <laughs> <laughs> and actually that's a compliment to me but that's funny as shit but it's also a compliment because I want to be like feminine you know so uh, somebody one of my riders told me and I wish this shirt was fucking right I have to fix it uh, and I can't wait to be married to this man I can't wait to have his baby I can't wait to be with him every day every night and I just love him I don't care about anything else I mean of course I care about my kids that's the only thing else I that seems like the sun behind me but it's a car It looks like I'm doing more express pass. I'm going through something else. I, I hate this. I don't know what I'm doing. But you know what? I'm going to breathe. And it's going to be okay. Something's going to happen. Good. <laughs> Makes no sense what I just said. But good's happening. I forgive that boy for hitting my car. And it's going to be okay. So. Somehow my car is going to pass inspection and I, it's not going to call it's my life is affordable that's what I always say my life is affordable um I'm not really sure I'm on Pulaski Highway but I think I'm supposed to go that way <sighs> but Stephen told me to take my time so I'm going to take my time I mean that's a lot a half an hour I have I feel like I have at least a half an hour Mm. But see, I'm softening up and being vulnerable, and I like that. It feels good, even though it feels uncomfortable. What? I mean, actually, it feels like when you're taking a shit, and it can be very uncomfortable at first. <laughs> and hurt a little bit but then once it's out oh you feel so much better <laughs> I know that's gross but that's what I just thought of it's true I love Baltimore now this is like Erdman Avenue and I don't know why I love this I don't even want to go see Steven I want to work <laughs> because I love this shit I love I love my fucking job that's what I realized 
like I really love my job I love being a Lyft driver I love Baltimore I just gotta have a car I always have to have a car that works and I don't think it's that serious I just have to find the right people that are that won't rip me off because I don't have any money so I don't want shame either and like I said I have to find the right people maybe I already have them in Westminster I don't know but I want to go to the right Maryland State inspection place and I want the right people to fix up my car if it needs to be fixed that's not going to charge me a lot um, I want riders in my car that I can be myself with and talk to and I don't want to feel intimidated or less than So, videos help me. They help me to love myself and to see myself. And to it strengthens me. Makes me not feel so alone. I am beautiful. And I am divine feminine. And I am boss. And this is my car and it's going to go well for me. I didn't do anything wrong. I deserve good. I deserve things to go well for me. I deserve support and love and I deserve not to be traumatized and rejected and judged and I deserve you know nobody to hit me anymore and I deserve this car because I love this car to pass inspection and to you know let my life to be affordable I deserve to keep the house where I'm at I deserve to have a baby in my belly that belongs to Stephen and not to feel shame over that or judgment or bad I know I'm 54 really person did you see that a person just like almost hit me I really want to trust God that I'm untouchable and that life goes well for me despite what's going on around me and what other people choose to do so I want to bless my womb I want to bless my night with Stephen tonight I want to receive I don't know where I'm at let me see I think I'm going to Dundalk really yeah I'm on North Park North Point Boulevard. He told me to take my time, so. Um, that's all I have to say, I guess. I love you, Tree. You are beautiful. And you are precious. And you do deserve to be happy. And have everything to think.